Hello everyone, welcome to Tea Time. I recently bought an iPhone 15 Pro, and of course when you buy a new phone, you have to go out and buy a case for it. So what I ended up doing was actually buying uh, both the official Apple uh, silicone case as well as the fine woven case. I just wanted to see the differences between them, especially wanted to check out the fine woven since that's kind of the new material um, that they're replacing leather with. So I wanted to see kind of how these hold up, how they feel in the hand and all of that. So like I said, I bought both of them. I've tried them both out on my device for about a week. I just wanted to share my observations and general thoughts between these two cases, how they hold up over time and how the general feel is a durability wise kind of thickness. So um, that's I kind of just wanted to have a little comparison between the two. Here we have the two official Apple cases for the iPhone 15 Pro. So you could kind of consider the clear case also an official Apple case. I mean, it is, but I would consider that in a different category. Um, if you're looking for an official Apple case, most likely you're going to be looking between the silicone case or the fine woven case. So the fine woven case is actually new as of the iPhone 15 series and it replaces the leather case that they used to have. So um, I have both versions here. You know, these are pretty much the same color. Uh, this this uh, fine woven one, I believe is storm blue. It's, or sorry, the silicone case is storm blue. The fine woven one is Pacific blue. So very similar colors, you know, just looking at these cases, um, or at least the boxes, you know, right here. So. Um, just kind of looking between them, I will take these out of the box and then we can compare the uh, fine woven to the silicone case. Here are the actual cases themselves. So this is the fine woven case and this is the silicone case. So um, both of these kinds of cases come for the entire iPhone 15 family. So that includes iPhone 15, 15 plus, 15 pro and 15 pro max. Really the only major differences will be cutouts and you know sizes with the different models um the two different you know larger and smaller sizes and then with the pro models you have a bigger camera cutout around the you know where the camera is and then you have a little button for the action button rather than a cutout on the regular iphone 15 uh, cases so kind of how these two differ is honestly you know there's two different materials right i mean who would have guessed but um, just kind of the feel in the hand, just because they are two different materials. Um, the fine woven feels a lot, um, almost like Alcantara. Uh, it, it, it's not, it's not a very stiff fabric, um, similar to like the Google Pixel cases that they used to make for fabric phones. Um, it's very much like, like a suede feel. Uh, this being said, it's not, the, the fibers within it aren't super long. They're pretty compressed down. Um, but it does feel very different than, I guess, most cases, and especially, you know, the leather cases that came before it. Um, so that's kind of what the back material is made of. The rest of it, the, the, the sides of the case are made from, uh, a different material. It, it almost feels like some sort of plastic, um, although it most likely is not just because they're going for this whole environmentally friendly aspect with these cases but um, it's kind of textured so it's textured a little bit so that it's uh, easier to grip in your hand uh it, it feels pretty nice actually i don't think that that this is a problem at all uh which i'll what i'll talk about later is that the back material is actually the biggest problem um that i have noticed throughout the time owning it um but just going around the case there's uh buttons here so button cutouts these are actually metal buttons so um, they correspond with whatever color, obviously, that you get for case. So this is the Pacific Blue. So they're blue colored buttons. You have one for volume up, down, the action button, and then one for the uh, volume. Uh, on the bottom, you have cutouts. So you have, uh, you know, bigger cutouts for, like, the, the speaker, the microphone, and then the USB-C port. And then up top, there's nothing up there. So that's um, kind of, you know, a walk around of this fine woven case. I'll do the same thing now for the silicone case. Again, very similar thing. Um, this is silicone, so it's going to feel a bit more rubbery. It's going to be a lot more grippy in the hand. And um, that's kind of the, the gist of it. Uh, it. You know, it'll just feel different. Go try it out in the Apple store for yourself. See which one you kind of like. But uh, as for buttons on this one, these ones are not metal buttons. These are just the same, made out of the same material, however, just a different color. So, um, it, you know, it's just kind of molded in, into there. Um, still feel great when you're using it on the phone. Um, but those are all in the same places. You still have a button for the action button and then a uh, 
uh, power button over here. On the bottom, it's a little bit different. We do have a cutout for the USB Type-C port. However, uh, with this one, each individual hole is um, slotted out for you know the speaker grill and the microphone rather than just having a cutout like it is here on the fine woven case so just something to keep in mind that's how it was with the leather cases as well the leather cases just had kind of an opening this one is very more um, fine-tuned to kind of each um, like I said kind of speaker grill hole um, nothing else on the top or anything, same kind of cutout. Um, both of these cases too do support MagSafe, so they both have MagSafe uh, magnets within here. So as you can see kind of on the inside for both of these, there is a little circle. So that's where the MagSafe uh, part is, you know, that connects to your phone. You can uh, connect accessories to the back of these cases as well, no issues. Um, I've connected these to, I have a dock in my car, uh, as well as a charger. Just easily put it on and it works just like it, as it would without the phone. So it's kind of like the basics of, you know, these two cases. So what are my thoughts about them? So as of recording this, the iPhone 15 Pro has been out for a little over a week. I think about 9 to 10 days uh, as of filming this. Uh, I got it on day one and I got the fine woven case on day one. And then I picked up the silicone case a couple of days later. So I've used uh, both of these for about half that time. So this one for about five days, this one for about five days is by no means a full long-term review, like after six months or after a year or something like, no, I don't a hundred percent know how well these are going to hold up after a year. However, these are my impressions after using it for five days on each. We'll start with the fine woven here. So the fine woven case picks up every little thing that you can think of. Um, just going into the Apple stores, I've looked three times kind of throughout this past week and, and almost every single fine woven case that is on display is scratched up in some way. Um, some colors fare be better, better than others. I know that the more tan colored ones looked a little bit better, at least in the store that I was in, um, whereas these, the specific blue color was pretty scratched up. I'm very, um, I don't know what you would consider it, kind with my cases. I don't really push them around. I don't really break them or anything. I'm, I, I, I wash them off, clean them, whatever. Um, however, this being said, even after just the five days I used this thing, I've realized that this thing is not going to hold up after a long time. Um, as you can see, like, it's kind of, there are just like some little things in here, just whether it's pocket lint or whatever. Um, but that's kind of hard to clean off. You know, you can't really just take a rag, clean it off because this is kind of fibrous. There's a lot of like different things within here. As you can see, you can kind of like hear it scratching or hear it, you know, a little noise that you make. Um, so it's kind of hard to clean. The second thing is that it, was, it doesn't really pick up super well on camera right now, but there is a little MagSafe imprint because I that's how I charge my phone. I put on a MagSafe charger. However, there's like a permanent MagSafe imprint after using it for just two days. Um, it's on there and I tried to get it off and I couldn't. Again, it doesn't pick it up super well here, but like, again, I've used this thing for five days. If you use this thing for like a month, I'm 100% sure that this MagSafe thing is going to show up, you know, every single time. And it's going to just be a little bit annoying, I would say, because there's nothing, really nothing you do to, to fix it. You can't really clean it off. It's kind of just damaged material. Same thing with like scratching. Like if whatever reason it gets scratched, you know, whether it's your keys or something like that, as I've said, from other people that I've seen and from talking from uh, employees within the store, these things get scratched up super easily. So long-term use, if you're okay with it looking a little scratched up, it'd be a better time, that's fine. Um, but that's probably what will happen. I, I think this one will fare a lot worse in the long term. Um, this being said, I do like actually how it feels. Um, the sides are super nice and, and grippy. They aren't rubbery, but they have like a little bit of a fine uh, texture to them, which I like. And then the back material, like I said, it's like a, almost like a su suede or Alcantara or something. Um, it does feel pretty nice. I, I, I have to say, I, I, don't, I don't dislike the way it feels. Just the way that it functions and just the durability of it, I think is not really up to at least Apple standards. Um, but everything else about it, I do actually quite like. The metal buttons are very nice and clicky, easy to use. Um, the colors are pretty good. I, spe I like especially this color. Um, I have a titanium iPhone uh, 15, or the blue titanium iPhone 15 Pro, uh, which I'll show you in the case in a little bit, but that's just kind of that. So as for the silicone case, I think this one will, will fare better over time. Um, these things have been out for a long time, you know, since 
at least the past five years, Apple has released a bunch of different colors of their silicon cases for the iPhone lineup. Um, you can get a bunch of different colors in these as well. You can get more colors in the silicone than you can in the, in the fine woven. Um, however, the thing with, to note with silicone is that first off, it's going to pick up a lot of pocket lint. No matter how well you clean out your pockets, if you're going to put this in your, your jeans or if you're going to you put this anywhere really where there's you know any and any pocket or any purse or something it's going to pick up a ton of stuff it's really easy to get off though you can kind of just brush it off um, or you can just take like a little rag or paper towel and just kind of take it off um, like i said this is a lot lot easier to clean than this just because of the material um pretty easy to you know just just wipe um like i said it's a lot more grippy so like when you're holding it, it it's harder for it to kind of slip out of your hand uh, however it, that means that it does get a little bit more greasy you know just as you use it I don't know if that's the best word but that's probably how I describe it it's just you kind of feel it after a while so you do have to clean it off um, again it's really just personal preference like if you like this or you don't one thing to note is that it'll be a little bit harder to get out of your pocket you know it kind of stick in there you're gonna have to pull it out some people love these silicone cases some people really don't um, I don't know, I'm kind of mixed on it. I, I like the case itself. I think that it's a pretty nice case. It's just I don't really want to deal with the, the lint and stuff always sticking with it. So probably try to find another option. But that's kind of like the, the comparison between these two. Um, and then I will show you now it in the actual device. All right, so here it is in my iPhone 15 Pro. So as I said before, the color that I have here is the, I have the blue titanium iPhone 15 Pro. So I feel like the, the blues, a lot of people will kind of pair them together. Um, I also apologize if the uh, video quality is a little bit different. You have to use another device to record this just because obviously I, I needed to, to use this phone to actually put it in the case. However, as you can kind of see on here, you can see that the MagSafe outline actually better on this camera than you can the other one. Um, it does kind of appear kind of in this area and then there's like this little stain I guess on here that I've had like since day one getting out of the box. Tried to clean it off, really couldn't do it. I just don't think it will hold up that well after long-term use. This being said though, I really like the feel of this actually. Just like holding it around like it's not too um, sticky like a, like a silicone case would be. Like the, like I said, these sides have like a really nice grip to them. Like it's really nice to kind of hold on to it. Um, it's a really thin case too, um, as Apple cases usually are. There's like a little lip over it so that the, the screen itself won't get um, broken if it if it falls right on. And as I said before, this one has uh, you know larger cutouts than just the... Um, uh, individual little holes. The, the buttons are metal, so really easy to click in. You know, if you want to click it, turn it on, turn it off. Um, really easy to do, but I I really do like the feel of this case. Even the material in the back. I know some people are kind of mixed, like on, oh, you know, do you like actually the feel of it? I like the feel of it. I really do. I just don't like the durability aspect of it, but I think it looks good. I think the color looks really good on this as well, so I, I think if they just for the next generation, right, and let's just say the iPhone 16, if they can just fix this back material to be a little easier to clean or, like, won't get damaged as much, um, these would be much better cases. But as of now, they just, uh, durability-wise, aren't all that great. Now, here's the device in the Apple silicone case. So, again, this is kind of the look of it with the, the same color, blue titanium. I think that this color combo is just as good as the other one. Uh, looks really nice with the the dark blue um, and that's, as I said you before you can get tons of different colors especially with the silicone cases um this is you know just kind of how it looks with that as at the bottom the cutouts are a little more precise with each of the individual things and you have uh, a fairly decent USB type C cutout I don't know if that would be a problem with like really big USB type C cables but uh, every cable that I've tried with it has worked so your usage may vary uh, however uh, it does feel nice, you know, it, it feels nice, you know, nice and grippy, like I said, the buttons work very well, um, same thing with, like, the action button, like, if I, you know, easy to hold down and, and use to activate whatever you wanted to activate, um, it, it is a very nice case. I don't like the actual feel of it as much as the other one, just because, like I said, it feels a little bit, I don't want to call it greasy, but just a little bit, mmm like your you know skin oil is going to get on it after a while no matter how like clean you are so it's easier to clean off but i think it gets a little bit more dirty in the day to day but like i said it looks nice um and some people really like this some people really don't but like i said before sometimes there's like lint that kind of gets up at the top or like especially around the camera bump just because this material is very grippy so between these two what would i recommend 
if I'm directly comparing these two, like if you're if you're wondering, should I get this one or should I get this one? Honestly, I think you should get the silicone case most every time. Um, if you really don't like the feel of silicone, you can certainly try this out. I know that Apple has like a 14-day return policy, so if you try it out, you don't like it, you can always return it. I Like I said, I think the feel of this case is very nice. I do like it. I just don't think for almost anyone that this will hold up as well as this case or as, as well as the older le leather cases. Um, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I thought that the Apple leather cases were the best cases you could get. They were super thin. They protected your device pretty well. Um, I love the leather feel, super easy to clean off. And as for me, like when it gets scuffed up or something, it really wasn't that big of a deal because over time, it'll kind of just fix itself. You know, that's kind of how leather is. And, and I know some people have kind of don't like the Apple leather cases compared to some other ones, but I actually really didn't love them. So I'm very sad to see them go, especially for this option. Um, I think that this could have coexisted with the leather cases, but um, you know, what, what can I say? Um, but I think that most people would be better served with the silicone case. These are just two options. So there are tons of other third-party cases out there. There's the clear official Apple case. Um, but, you know, just, just looking at these, like, purely durability-wise, I think that the silicone one, it's been around for the longest time. So most people have tried it out one time or another. But I would def definitely recommend this one over the fine woven. And at the end of the day, that's really all I can say. It's just <laughs> what do I kind of recommend for myself? Um you know probably the silicone one but everybody is totally different it's your own unique experiences so go figure out what's what's going to work out best for you as for me i think this year i'm going to go for actually a third party case i'm going to see um, what the kind of leather options are out there for cases because as i mentioned before i love the apple leather cases kind of sad they don't have them this year but maybe i'll get something from either bellroy or andor or something like that so after having both of these cases, I did end up returning the fine woven case to Apple and I ended up keeping the silicone case, which is on my device right now. Apple is very good about this uh, for the return policy. So uh, if you ever, if, if you want to go out and try the fine woven case for yourself, you have 14 days where you can keep it, try it out. And then if you don't like it, you can return it straight to Apple to give you a refund to your original payment method. But uh, you know, it might be good to try out or you know, if this, these impressions were good enough for you, that's totally fine too. But I did end up returning the fine woven case. I'll be using the silicone case um, until I can get another case around November. One interesting thing to note, as I kind of mentioned before, is that Case manufacturers such as, let's just say, you know, Bellroy and or, uh, originally their, their batches of cases had a cutout around the action button. So like, uh, you know, there's a little hole in the case. Uh, because a lot of manufacturers thought that it was still going to be a mute switch. Apple didn't necessarily tell case manufacturers that, hey, this is going to be an action button. So a lot of them just assumed, okay, it's not going to be a button. Um, so because of this, a lot of uh, customers have kind of complained about it. So a lot of companies, including those two, are um, releasing new batches for their cases. So like in November, these new batches that have actual buttons on where the action button is. So like say, same thing for the volume and the um, power button, there's gonna be an actual button on them rather than a cutout. So uh, I would keep that in mind, especially if you're looking for cases for the iPhone 15 Pro that aren't the official ones. About half of case manufacturers have a button where the action button is and about half have a cutout at least at this point in time. Like I said, a lot of new batches are coming out like around the November time frame. So that's something to keep in mind if you are looking for a case for your iPhone 15. That's really all I had for impressions. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in to Tea Time and I'll see you guys later.